Hello everyone, thanks very much for coming out um, and uh, watching me play. Um, uh, I'd like to give a brief description of um, the kit I, I sort of have evolved over a number of years. And um, it's uh, basically just a, a regular acoustic kit and, uh, and a bunch of electronics. But uh, my approach to electronics is very um, particular in that I don't, um, uh, I have a very separate um, sound and a separate technique for playing electronics as I do an acoustic kit. Um, all the, all the pads, for example, are set to a maximum velocity, so... It's either loud or loud, I think. And, uh, so, uh, therefore, it's quite un unforgiving if you sort of make a slight mistake or something, because it's going to come out at full volume. Um, but, um, but, yeah, but the headspace needed for that is just getting the hits really accurate, really, really, really bang on, and, uh, and just really sort of machine tight. Whereas, on the acoustic side, obviously, you've got the beauty of dynamics, and, um, and, and and texture and, and loads of you know, tonality. These are just, I mean, it's just one sound I ever program on, on these things, and um, and it's just um, it's just um, basically to, to, to get that real sort of machine uh, type sound. Um, everything has to be played at a really sort of strict um, tempo and at, at constant velocity all, all the time with, with no dynamic give because. If, um, if you have dynamics in, in, in the big switch of electronic, the, um, the groove just sort of starts to feel a bit sort of wobbly in terms of its own. Um, it doesn't have that straight through attack. Where so even if I was to try and play like a more of a drum bass or a, a house type groove on the kit, it, you would still you, you can never get it to that point where it just sounds really consistent and really sort of driving because because of the um, nature of trying to play it that that actually so it's loads easier just to. Um, um, to play, play on electronics. Uh, the device I'm using for the trigger and samples is a, a DTX 900. Good, quite a good device. Um, you can, the best thing about it is you can, you can put your own sounds into it, which is which is which is handy. I think a lot of these modules, um, although they're good in a sense, you know, they're for practicing and, and doing that sort of thing. But um, I, you know, there should be more boxes out there which allow you to put your own stuff on there because it's um, it's you know it'd be. Um, just to, uh, to use factory sounds, just kind of, just, it just sounds very generic. It's very hard to get your, your, own, um, your own personal sound into, into that thing because I think, um, just, just as though you can um, tune and, and, and have your kit sound in a certain way, it's, I do exactly the same thing with samples, to, using different filters, different EQs, different effects, just to get the sound that I, you know, that, that I have in my head. So, so but I, th I think it's, it's really important. To have uh, to use machines which have um, that 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 on them, um, and I've just been um, experimenting and use, using the new uh, Zildjian Gen, Gen 16 cymbals, which I think sound really good. They sound really good. Yeah, yeah there you go. They're on sale here apparently. It's, uh, um, yeah, it's, it's a it's a great it's, it's a great um, it's, it's, it's a great idea. it's a great idea that they've that they, they've come up with, and uh, the, the actual tonality of the cymbal. I mean, uh, apart from being, well, it's, it's, it's like a proper symbol to play, but you've got the added bonus of being able to, you know, use this this, this setup alongside um, an, an electronic kit and still not, you know, still be able to play, play, play in a bedroom sort of thing and, and play, play on with headphones, which is a great plus, but also in, in a live situation to, to get that definition of, of cl close mic in the symbols would be very hard to do because you obviously you need a whole range of mics to, to do that. And uh, overheads, um, a good one since, but there's still a lot of spill off the kit, which is coming into the overheads as well. But with these, with this miking system, you're getting much more in individual sounds, and you can control each of the um, levels of the symbols that you want and put di different effects on it. Um, yeah, and, uh, and, and that's that. Uh, are there any questions? No. no. Okay, fair enough. I'll, I'll play some more then, shall I? <laughs> okay, um, okay, I'll play a bit more. 